All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. We're gonna be hitting the device for the outdoor lights in this tutorial. After it finishes loading, we're gonna hit the DIY tab, then go down to the bottom and hit the plus symbol. And you can see on this screen, we have some saved DIYs from users and the ones I've created. So we're gonna go ahead and move those to the main screen. So hit shortcut management at the top left. Next, we wanna press the select all button so you can move all your DIYs to the main screen. Now hit the yellow check mark at the top right. The eyes indicate that you can see your DIYs now. Hit the back arrow. This populates all the DIYs to the main page. But wait, there's more. Press on this wheel right here. This is a message from Gobi. For your convenience, we've added a new shared category under DIY. In this category, we automatically recommend DIY effects shared by other users for you by default. If you don't need this function, you could tap the button below to hide it. Look here as a tab has been populated for random shared DIYs. Use the down arrow to scroll down for other scenes. Let's organize the DIYs into groups. Let's press on this small pencil to do that. Up top, go ahead and hit batch operation. Hit the plus symbol to add your first group. Let's name this one Outdoor DIY Scenes. After you're done, hit the blue confirm button. Let's create our second group for our curtain scenes. Hit the blue confirm button. I'll be creating two more groups and then we can move on to the next step. Now that your groups are made, let's organize them. Hit the back arrow. Before we organize them, let's identify each icon and what it does. Orange icons will mean an app saved DIY. The user settings cannot be edited, though you can rename a user DIY. Click on this pencil to edit the DIY name. Take a picture of your scene and use that as your cover photo. Then organize it to your group. Let's go ahead and take a look at the blue icons. So the blue icons are your saved DIYs and you can still edit the settings at any time as well as renaming them. These are also shareable. Let's take a look inside one of my DIY settings for an example. Here is a DIY for 4th of July. You can change a name, icon, group, effect, speed, and colors and resave it. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the DIYs and see what their scenes are like. Now it's time to organize them into your groups. Go ahead and hit batch operation at the top right. Let's start off by grouping some outdoor scenes. Go ahead and click move to group. Now I'll be moving my workshop scenes to a group. Your workshop DIY scenes, the settings can still be edited as well as renamed. You will not be able to create a workshop scene under DIY tab. That can be done in the main page of your device under more. We will not cover workshop scenes in this video. Maybe save it for another video.
Now I'll be moving user curtain scenes into a group. Let's preview the ones I have from Shea 1215. Big shout out to Aaliyah Staples for letting me use these scenes in this video. She creates all these curtain DIYs and scenes from scratch. If you would also like to show your support, look up Shade 12 15. Give her a follow. Give her the thumbs up on the scene and hit the star to save. Now all your group tabs will populate here. To create a DIY, first hit the pencil, hit the yellow plus symbol at the top right. Next, save a DIY name for your scene. Go ahead and hit confirm. Pick any effect for your lights. You can also adjust the speed for your chase. Use the plus symbol to pick your color tiles. Keep pressing the plus symbol to get different colors. Once you're done with your scene, hit the save button. Now that you've saved your DIY to your device, you can now share it with the world. Put a title and upload a video for everyone to see your setup and start using it. Record your video or upload one from the album. Now you're ready to post and upload your scene. Let's go ahead and give finger sketch a try. It would all be the same but with a few different steps. Make sure to have your background color to off. When creating a solid scene, you want no movement. So then take the speed all the way down. Use a color towel to finger sketch your colors. Once you're complete with your sketch, add a DIY name. Then hit confirm. Go down to the green button and hit save. Follow the same process as before. Put a name, then upload a video, then you're able to post. If you made it this far into the tutorial, I would like to say thank you and I hope you benefit from this video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.